New shoes, new shoes, new shoes. Oh. New shoes. Good morning, YouTube. It is Sunday. Sunday run day. Yeah. Uh, so ASIC sent me their new shoe. It is the Glide Ride. Here it is. It's a nice maroon color for fall. And uh, I'm going to take it out today on a run despite the fact that I probably shouldn't because I've been sick for the past like five days. We're going to take it easy. We're going to go for a little spin. And I'm going to give you my thoughts and my first run impressions of the ASICS Glide Ride. In my personal opinion, I think ASICS knows they need to step it up. Uh, they've kind of been doing the same thing for a long time and they have a really loyal following, but the running game is changing. And I think that the ASICS Meta Ride, which came out a little earlier this year, was kind of their attempt to compete with shoes like the Carbon X and the Vaporfly, but I'm it didn't really work out and I think the glide ride is kind of like another attempt at that um, it doesn't have a carbon fiber plate but you know it's something new something different so we're gonna see will they make me glide or will I push them to the side I don't know just just stick around for the run an honorable mention someone got a new pair of shoes yesterday what you got there the Hoka Carbon X so this is gonna be her first run in these shoes as well See how it goes. Excited? Yeah, I'll let you know. <laughs> this has nothing to do with anything today, but I, I just need to show you how ridiculous this is. How big my foot is and how small her foot is. So, this is my shoe. This is my Carbon X. Okay, okay, great. So, let's put them together. Wait, wait. <laughs> yeah. Uh... Pretty big difference there. Yeah, 
miles in the shoe. I'm at 1.62 miles right now. We'll keep evaluating. <laughs> Let's talk about the glide ride. So for the first mile that I was running in the shoe, I honestly wanted to take it off. I'm not gonna lie. The reason being is because this technology that ASICS is using called Guide Sole, which is this drastic curve upward that the shoe has in the uh, midsole, is really drastic. So I wanted to take the shoe off and I didn't. My foot started to adapt and it felt a little more natural to be running in, so I found my rhythm and it felt a little more comfortable. Again, I really do like what ASICS is trying to do here. I know that they are a brand, like I've said earlier, that needs to kind of do something a little more innovative, something that they're not used to, step out of their comfort zone. And this is where this shoe comes into play. As for the midsole of this shoe, ASICS is using a flight foam and it's nice. I had no problems with it. It doesn't feel super heavy or light. It's kind of in the middle um, and I felt protected. It was cushioned and it was somewhat responsive. So I really have no complaints and nothing too crazy to say about the midsole. If ASICS knows how to do one thing, they know how to beef up an upper. This one seems to be kind of middle of the road. It's an engineered mesh. Um, but the heel counter, the heel car area, and the tongue are pretty beefed up with cushion. Because this is an ASIC shoe, what does it have? Gel in the heel! ASICs, this is not a terrible shoe, and this just causes extra weight. Just get rid of it. And there's areas that I think that could easily be fixed to make the shoe lighter and even better than what it is. I think if we got rid of this gel in the heel, like I already said, that would cut down on weight. The plasticky overlays in the heel this beefed up heel counter and tongue like i already said we could get we could we could cut down on weight there there's just a lot of things that i see in this upper that could be gotten rid of and it would make the shoe lighter and even better and, and you'd feel even more efficient in your stride moving on to the outsole of this shoe there is full length rubber if asics wanted to cut down on weight we could lose some of that especially because of the guide sole technology that's rolling you forward in your stride you're really not hitting too much in this midfoot area and you could really just use the rubber in the forefoot where you're really striking and in the heel a little bit for some heel strikers overall i liked this shoe i definitely need to run in it more to see kind of how it would work for me um, but I will be incorporating it into my training for the full review. I think that ASICS is heading in the right direction. I like where they're going with this kind of technology. I would give it three of five stars if I was rating it. I think that this, met this rocker technology, this guide sole that ASICS has is so steep that it, it's a little bit unfamiliar for your foot at first. Oh, and one more thing, get a pull tab. All right, guys, that's pretty much all I'm going to say today because I'm going to do a full review of this shoe. Thank you so much for watching, and if you like this video, please subscribe. If you're interested in the full review, stick around because I will definitely be getting to that as I put more miles in this shoe. The Hoka Carbon X full review is also coming soon, so please stick around and watch out for that. In the meantime, get out there, get on the grind, and don't forget to run like Heller, even if you have nasal congestion. I'll see you guys next time. Well, how was it? It was good.
Speedy Gonzalez? <laughs> yeah. Yeah? For me. <laughs>